Hey, everybody, did you miss me? Hey, who said no? Who said no? Rob? I know it was you. You watch your ass. Anyway, we'll get into the latest Jurassic World movie in just a bit, but first, let's just quickly go over where the hell I've been. And the answer is sick, mostly. It's not anything life-threatening, so don't panic. I'm fine. But basically what it's been is I've just been suffering from a lot of post-nasal drip lately, which has just wrecked my throat and made it very difficult to speak clearly, and I've been coughing and hacking and all sorts of nasty shit. And... After about a month of that, I finally decided, you know, maybe I should see a doctor just to make sure there's not something really wrong. And as far as he's been able to tell me, it's just been allergies. And that's it. And it's nice that it's not an infection of some sort. That's great. But it also means there's not a whole lot I could do except take some antihistamines and wait it out. And I'm still not completely over it. You can probably still hear it in my voice a little. But you know what? I'm close enough to 100% that I'm going to get back into making videos again, because I kind of miss this. Although, it was nice to have a break. It really was. I would have much preferred if I could have taken a break on my own terms, but, you know, you got to play the hand you're dealt. And if you're wondering where the next episode of Cinematic Excrement is, it's almost done. I just got to record the on-camera parts, basically, and then finish editing, and then it's ready to go. So you should look for that in the next couple of days, if all goes well. I would also like to take this time to throw out a cheap plug. Rob from Cinematic Venom is making another movie. A couple years ago, he and some of his buddies, myself included, got together and made a very silly and very low-budget superhero spoof film. It was called The Dark Knight Stumbles. And now we're trying to make a sequel, and we could really use your help, because even very silly, low-budget movies need money. So if you have a few dollars to spare and you would like to throw some our way, we would be ever so grateful. Link to the Indiegogo campaign is in the description. So now that we have that business out of the way, let's talk about Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. The previously dormant volcano on Ila Nublar has become active again and threatens the dinosaurs with extinction. Again. And so it's up to Owen and Claire, played respectively by Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, to lead a rescue mission of sorts to save as many dinosaurs as possible. Fortunately, they're getting all the funding they need for this rescue mission from James Cromwell, who plays some old dude with money to burn, who used to be a partner of John Hammond. And they must save the dinosaurs because they're living creatures too, damn it, and they deserve to go on living. Or some such bullshit. But of course, a whole lot of other rich bastards with money to burn get involved and the whole thing goes south. So if you were not already aware, I was not a big fan of the original Jurassic World. I thought it kind of sucked. I liked parts of it. I liked three parts of it exactly. One. Two, the pteranodons swooping in and killing bitches. And three, the fight between the T-Rex and the raptor and the big motherfuckasaurus. But that was about it. The rest of the movie really didn't do it for me. They somehow managed to take Chris Pratt, a man with so much natural charisma, and turn him into an unlikable douche nozzle. I swear that movie spent about half its runtime vilifying a woman for the unconscionable act of preferring to have a career over having children. Oh dear God, no! Also, Indominus Rex is a stupid ass name. And that brings us to Fallen Kingdom, which is simultaneously better and dumber. I don't know how they managed to pull that off, but here we are. This time around, the characters that we're supposed to like are actually likable, including Pratt, who is much less of a douche this time. Howard actually has practical footwear this time around, so if you were hoping for another slow motion scene of running in high heels, you're gonna be disappointed here because she actually found a pair of boots. And she has somehow gone from a corporate shill exploiting the dinosaurs for fun and profit to an activist trying to save them. The villain in this movie is one vile motherfucker who you desperately want to see get eaten by that T-Rex. I won't spoil whether or not that happens in case you haven't seen the movie, but you will want it to happen one way or another. The acting was pretty solid across the board, which is about what you would expect from a movie that features people like James Cromwell and Toby Jones. Though I have to say I was a bit disappointed by Jeff Goldblum's cameo, because he's not giving us the full Goldblum. And I think I speak for everyone when I say, we need the full Goldblum. 
We got the full Goldblum in the first Jurassic Park movie. We got it in Thor Ragnarok, but here in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we're only getting about half a Goldblum. And half a Goldblum is scarcely a Goldblum at all. If you are going to give him a pointless cameo just so you can put him in the trailer, at least give us the full Goldblum. Is that asking too much? I don't think so. The movie does have a handful of comedic moments when the characters are not running for their lives, and they do work very well. And there are plenty of fun action sequences where the dinosaurs are just wrecking shit up. And honestly, at this point, when people go to see a Jurassic Park movie, the dinosaurs are what they are there for, not the people. And honestly, how many of you could remember the character names for either Chris Pratt or Bryce Dallas Howard? I couldn't. I've seen him in two movies now and I had to look him up. But you know who I do remember? Blue. Couldn't give a shit about the humans, but I remember that raptor, and I know I am not alone. So there are a lot of improvements this time around, but at the same time, this movie is dumb. And I mean really, really fucking dumb. We constantly have people who are surviving things that should be physically impossible to survive. The bad guys are essentially just a retread of the evil corporate overlords from the Lost World who, for some reason, want to bring the dinosaurs to the mainland. Because humans are stupid and we never fucking learn. And this time around, they're trying to sell the dinosaurs. And they're not really selling them for that much, all things considered. They only go for, like, a few million dollars. Like, the most expensive one was, like, 30 million. And they're fucking dinosaurs. Like, these should be going for hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. That would be much more realistic, I think. Just a few million? Like, there are cars more expensive than that. Come on. And not to be outdone by the last movie, the genetic scientists have genetically Frankenstein together another new dinosaur, which they call the Indoraptor. It's part Indominus Rex and part Raptor, which seems kind of redundant because the Indominus Rex was already part Raptor. So basically they just took a Raptor and put some more Raptor in it. This movie is dumb. And throughout the movie, leading all the way up to the very end, there is this big debate over whether these dinosaurs who have been brought back from extinction deserve to live. And this really is not the ethical quandary that the movie thinks it is. Basically, if the dinosaurs live, humanity is fucked. If the dinosaurs die, humanity has a chance. Until we eventually nuke ourselves, but you know. But seriously, this is not a difficult decision. The giant death lizards are going to kill us all. It's them or us. They gotta go. But despite how dumb this movie is, I did actually enjoy it, and I'm kind of curious where they're gonna go with the third movie. I have some ideas where they might go, but one way or another, it looks like they're about to go completely off the rails, and I am here for it. This is probably the first Jurassic Park movie that I can say I've really, truly enjoyed since the first one. Now, perhaps I enjoyed it for the wrong reasons, because I... Don't think I would go so far as to say this was a good movie, because boy does it have problems. It is dumb, and it is predictable as all hell. There is not a single beat in this movie that you will not see coming a mile away, but at least, while it's being predictable, it has the good sense to be entertaining. So if you haven't seen it, and you just want to see some big dumb fun for two hours, I recommend checking it out. And that about wraps it up for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Till next time, take care.